smallest item out of place could be used by a prisoner as a weapon. Well, when I, I was in prison, as you know, for a crime I didn't commit, and um, when I was convicted of the murder and robberies and sentenced to life imprisonment, the media, journalists, played a, a, an important role in making me out to be a very bad person. So when I was in prison and I was campaigning for my freedom and trying to prove that I did not commit the crimes, I knew that it was important at the time to get journalists to write about my story. And the only way to do that was to understand the media, understand how it works and what it does. So I was fortunate enough to embark on a journalism correspondence course while I was in prison. And then I used that skill of understanding journalists to approach journalists, to do interviews with journalists, to get them on side and write things, and I knew what interested them. So that's the reason, the first reason that I started out on becoming a journalist. And it just so happens that when when I left prison, when my conviction was quashed and I was free, I was very fortunate to meet a very powerful editor at the BBC who offered me the opportunity to work for the BBC and, and my career has been successful ever since. My knowledge and expertise on life in prisons here in the United Kingdom, I have made a number of documentaries about prisons here in, in England, in, in Britain, and so um, I was approached by Netflix who wanted somebody to present the second and third seasons um, and they asked me through a British production company if I would be interested in filming inside prisons around the world. Now, that wasn't an easy decision for me because I spent 12 years in prison trying to get out of prison. Yeah. So it wasn't an easy decision for me to go back in, but I recognize that I have an experience, a knowledge, an empathy that could bring something to the table. And that's how I started doing the Netflix series. We, um, as a team, that is the production company that I work with here in the United Kingdom, um, locate or identify maximum security prisons from all around the world. Um, and we often contact local fixers, journalists in the country to find out what they think about certain prisons. So it must have been through the production company that the local fixer that we were talking to in Paraguay recommended Takambu as one of these places. But it was also because there was a new director of the prison. He was, mm -hmm. I think, a former government minister. And when he took over the prison, he'd already seen my series on Netflix. So mm -hmm. when we approached the prison, he was open to the idea of me coming there and filming there because he wanted to expose and show the challenges that they face and the challenges that he as the new director of this prison faces. So he was very open to the idea. In fact, I would go so far as to say he was quite excited by the idea that I wanted to come to that prison and feature it in the series that I've been doing about prisons around the world. Um, and the government didn't oppose the idea, so everybody was on side, everybody was willing to allow us to come in and film.